Point masses M1 and M2 are placed at the opposite ends of a rigid rod of length L and negligible mass. The rod is said to be rotating about an axis perpendicular to it. Okay, so this is the axis and this is perpendicular. The position of point L on this rod through which the axis should pass so that the work required to set the rod rotating with angular velocity omega naught is minimum. So, uh, when it is rotating with angular velocity omega naught, the rotational kinetic energy is half into I and let us say this is y y dash so half into i y y dash into omega naught whole square so this is the rotational kinetic energy now this will be minimum this will be minimum when i y y dash will be minimum Now what is I Y Y dash? This is equal to I center of mass plus M that is the total mass D square. Okay, so this is uh, the parallel axis theorem. Okay, in which like any, uh, you know, there are many, many points. Okay, these all point masses they have let us say you know this is the I center of mass so through an axis which is parallel at a distance of D the moment of inertia is going to be this now this is going to be minimum this I Y Y dash will be minimum when you see this d is going to be zero that means i y y dash it matches with center of mass so therefore this should be at its center of mass so therefore <coughs> the position of this uh, point l okay should be such that Okay, so the center of mass should be at x. So m1 into 0, like let us take this coordinate to be 0. So this coordinate is going to be L. So m1 into 0 plus m2 into L divided by m1 plus m2. This should be equal to x. So therefore, this is C. M2L divided by m1 plus m2. So that should be the answer.